Something that you guys have been asking me for quite a while to do is to bring out some videos detailing the process of a logo design that I've done for a company. Today I'm going to be showing you the logo design creation of Voyage and Vanquish which is a company that's a marketing and branding company, fairly new, very established though and it's by a guy called Brandon Federico who's an amazing guy. I worked with him and he was my client. All the links to his branding stuff will be in the description down below so go check that out as well as this video. So Brandon came to me through an email and we started talking and we wanted to design this logo for Voyage and Vanquish. I said yes, we discussed the payment terms and we also discussed the contract stuff. He signed the contract, I signed the contract and then we went ahead into the brief. Now the creative brief is the document that you get or the email or the description of what they want in the logo design. So it's all about their company themselves and what they think that the logo could look like or just more about themselves. The brief also outlined that Brandon wanted a Voyage and Vanquish monogram within the design so he could use in social media or tight spaces. So I went with Brandon's brief and the first thing that I did was created a mood board. This mood board consisted of some logo designs that Brandon really liked, but mostly it contained logo designs that I find inspiring or something that's relevant for this company. In this mood board, I had some weird logos in there, some things that won't actually be relevant to the brief or the logo design at hand. And that's just because it's inspiring for me and there's certain parts of the mood board in there that I really feel inspired by and I feel is relevant to the company. Once the mood board had been created and I finished with Pinterest, I kept the document open and I went into paper and I literally just drew out some of the first initial ideas. This is the conceptualizing stage. This is where I go ahead and draw my rough ideas out. Some of these ideas were based heavily on brush typography and it was made to be very bold and standing out. I went ahead through so many of these different ideas of the brush typography but I realized that the main problem that I was having when designing this logo or even drawing it out was the composition of the logo design itself. The name Voyage and with an ampersand Vanquish is actually really difficult to write out or to even have a, uh, a composition for it. But then I thought to myself, let's just make this simple. That's what logo design is all about. Let's just make this design really simple and just put literally Voyage and Vanquish uh, down on the paper and see where we go from there. I took inspiration from that because many companies and logo designs that have a big name but with an ampersand in the sort of center of the name will have it in the center and it'll just be a straight line and it worked pretty well for my initial ideas. For a lot of the initial ideas that I drew out, I went ahead and inked via tracing paper and put out into the computer. And once on the computer, I went ahead and traced it up. I kept it in a file or an Adobe Illustrated document. And this is just to give me sort of an idea of where I've been. So I want to see an evolution of design. Now that I've created a bunch of brush type logo designs or brush type word marks really, I went ahead and showed them to Brandon. Now I don't normally do this with companies. I normally go ahead and just show them the best concept that I've come up with. And the reason why I do that is because the client will then take more control of the logo design and the process of that logo design through the emails rather than letting me do my job, which is to choose the best logo for them or basically create the best logo for them. That's not because clients are silly or whatever. That's just because they want to have some input into what's going on. I really liked the idea of creating a monoline typography logo just because it was so different to the brush effect that we were trying to get beforehand. So I just went ahead and created a monoline version of this but made sure that the caps at the end of the strokes were actually square. And I did this by going ahead and drawing it out first and then bringing it into Illustrator as you can see. I brought it into Illustrator and I really liked the way that it was going. It's a monoline typography script logo type which is a really strange 
a variation of them, but it worked really well because the monoline typography was on an angle and it just worked really well. So I went ahead and did some more work on it and I created an ampersand. A major part of this branding project was creating an ampersand that looked awesome, but functional at the same time. My only problem was is every time I was creating a different idea for an ampersand, I thought I was putting too much effort into it and it would sort of overshadow the actual logo type itself. So what I did was I kept the ampersand design very simple and left it to two strokes. This sort of ampersand that I created gave it balance and it was sort of the best one that I think I've created so far and I really like what happened here. Each line within this logo design is completely consistent to the rest of the other lines. They're all the same width and that's what gives it the consistent feel. I was really excited creating the monogram because I love making monograms. They're relatively easy to make for me because I'm really creative with lines, but also it has a challenge to it to see how you can fit two letters or three letters into one space. Integral to the logo design that I created, I created the monogram design too with the same consistent lines as the ampersand and the rest of the logo type. The monogram is really fun to create. I had loads of fun creating different uh, ideas for them, conceptualizing the which ways the Vs could go. It was just really fun. It was sort of hair pulling at some times as well because I didn't really know how I could fit two Vs together. But I think we did a really good job and it really stands out to the rest of the logo types. Once I finished the monogram, I sent it to Brandon and he liked it. There was a few little changes I had to make to the consistency and the symmetry of the uh, actual monogram because one line wasn't consistent with the rest. And now the logo design is officially created and Brandon loved it. I had to change a few things, make sure all the lines were angled correctly. They were all consistent and it worked big and small. I did go ahead with a uh, little test and made sure I could cut it up into little pieces and still see it. I left it for a day and then I came back to it, which is always really good to do to sort of reset your mind and your brain whilst looking at a logo design. And this is the finished product. But that is the process of the logo design for Voyage and Vanquish. Now, I know this is a long video, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. It's a bit different. If you want to see more of these videos, for other clients that I've worked with, then go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. I would happily do more of these videos uh, for you because I find them really fun to just tell you my process behind doing things. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you're wanting to learn more about logo design and how you can actually become a logo designer or a hand letterer, then go and visit the links down in the description below. That'll take you to my website where you can sign up for this email thing where I give you uh, like a discount on a new course that's coming out very soon. Have a great week, guys, and I'll see you on Friday.